What is up guys, so I was looking at um, like a calendar of video game release dates for 2014 um, and it's no secret to anyone that this year has got a very very strong lineup for video game release dates um, and it, it actually puts it into perspective when you, when you actually sit down and look at what games are coming out in that sort of September, October, November period you, you can hear your bank account crying at you already because of how much money you're going to be spending. I know for a fact I'm going to be spending probably around 400 to 500 pounds on video games just at the end of this month, um, end of this year, sorry. Um, and that doesn't include what I've already spent. So it's quite weird when you think about it, isn't it? That every year I spend near closer to a thousand pounds on video games. I wonder how much I spent over the year. Anyway, that's track and wow that's crazy crazy thoughts but anyway I just wanted to go through some of the games that are coming out at the end of this year sort of September October November and just let you know kind of what I'm looking forward to and what I will be getting so we'll start with September obviously I think the biggest release for September is Destiny Bungie's new game that everyone seems to be looking forward to I'm still not kind of 100% sold on Destiny I don't know what it is but it's not really kind of gripping me in too much um, at the moment. Games like that don't really tend to be for me like that sort of futuristic shooter but I, I won't deny it looks fantastic I will be keeping an eye on it I probably will get it um, but it's not it's definitely not my most anticipated game of the year um, and it's not that not a kind of game that I've been really researching too much because there's other games that I'm looking forward to a little bit more but I am going to be excited for it coming up to the release date probably because it's such a big release so I'll be I'll be keeping my eye on that um, oh, as for September we've got the sports games are starting to come out so NHL 15 comes out in September and um, you've got the Sims 4 coming out as well which is big big release for the PC um, not too much else in September I mean we've got FIFA, FIFA 15 which for me I will be getting on day one big big FIFA football fan so I will be getting FIFA day one um, that's a big release for me big release for the Wii U is Hyrule Warriors and now this isn't your t typical kind of Zelda game obviously this is kind of a Zelda spin-off of I can't remember the name of the game that it's a spin-off of but it, it, it is looking intriguing and they are kind of given a lot of focus and trailers and everything to this game so I will imagine that it's going to be quite a big release for the Wii U um, which is going to be quite exciting to see slap the name Zelda on anything and it's definitely going to sell um, so I do believe that Hyrule Warriors will do well um, and I'll keep my eye on it as well if I've got nothing to play on my Wii U at that time I may be interested to get that so again that could be another game I'll be getting in September time moving on um, into October I mean there are a, lo a load more releases for September Ch uh, check a can't speak today take a look at the calendar of release dates and you'll see some games on there but I'm just going through the ones that interest me um, going into October early October you've got Super Smash Brothers coming out for the 3DS now I'm, I'm not too hyped for the 3DS version of this game I am going to wait for the Wii U version purely because I know that I don't play my 3DS enough to warrant buying it on the 3DS um, the cat is walking past now, so sorry if a big shadow came across. Um, but yeah, I'll be skipping that on the 3DS and just waiting for the, the Wii U version of Super Smash Bros. Um, you've got the new Alien game as well. Um, I think that's going to be out to prove a point considering how bad Alien Colonial Marines was that came out last year. If anyone remembers the outrage for that game. Um, Drive Club, huge, huge PlayStation exclusive, which really, really is intriguing me. I've never been a big fan of kind of racing, realistic uh, racing sims, but this one, the visuals alone are selling that game to me purely because it looks like real life. I, I saw a, re a new trailer recently which showed off the weather features and the, um, the rain gameplay, and it looks... Can you move, please? <laughs> it looks unbelievable, so I will be keeping my eye on Drive Club. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is a game that I feel a lot of people are overlooking. Um, it looks fantastic. I really, really hope it pays off. It's got it's that kind of game that could really go either way. It could either be kind of like a really underrated good game, or it could be just a pure bad game. Um, and I'm hoping it's the first. It's ne it's never going to be a fantastic game. I can tell that already. It's not going to be a mind blowing sort of game of the year contender. I, I can just tell that already by the trailers and the amount of kind of how how much people aren't talking about this game um, and the, what it's competing with as well with big multi-platform releases I know it's not going to sort of 
set the world alight with sales or anything, but I am hoping it's going to be an interesting game. NBA 2K15, again, that's a huge release considering how popular those games are. Um, what else have we got there? Battlefield Hardline also comes out in September, uh, October. Sorry, um, Again, I've never been too much into the Battlefield games, but I know how popular it is, and you can guarantee that that's going to be selling millions and millions. Um, a bit more exciting for me is The Evil Within. Now, I'm a huge horror fan, movies and video games, um, and I feel like the horror, horror genre in video games really has died down over the past few years. Um, the, the big exception being Outlast, the, um, the indie horror game that came out last year um, for PC, PS4 and, and now Xbox One. And I definitely recommend you play that if you're a horror fan and, and a um, horror video game fan. Um, but The Evil Within is exciting me. It's really, really um, promising by the look of the trailers. It's, by, it's been created by the original Resident Evil creator. Um, which is very very exciting as well because obviously Resident Evil being the king, the, the pinnacle of horror video games um, so I'm really really hoping this pays off, it looks scary, it looks great um, and I'm excited for it so I'm definitely going to be picking up the evil within Assassin's Creed Unity, possibly my biggest game of the year um, I know I'm going to love it, it's looking great, the new France setting is looking fantastic as well the new assassins are looking fantastic um, and I, I know for a fact I'm going to love the game. Assassin's Creed is is amazing for me. I love every single game. Um, and don't forget, this is I know that they're they're bringing out a, a past generation version. I know it's not the exact same game. So this is the true the next truly next gen Assassin's Creed game, which is exciting. I'm really really excited to see a bit more gameplay for that. Um, and yeah, that's definitely a day one purchase. WWE 2K15. I didn't know if you saw my previous video, but I will be getting that. Um, day one because I am excited at the prospect of it being the first next-gen wrestling game So I am hoping for big changes. Of course, it's fully developed by 2k games now um, Whereas the 2k14 was partly developed by THQ before they went bust So this is the first time that 2k games have had their full kind of Devotion to the WWE franchise and I'm hoping they can do it justice like they do with the NBA games So there's that Moving into November, you've got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I feel like Call of Duty is starting to die down now. People are starting to kind of kind of not forget about it, but sort of lay off Call of Duty a bit more since we've entered this next gen. I don't think that this is going to sell as well as the previous Call of Duty games. It seems like every time they release Call of Duty, they're like, oh, it breaks records. It breaks entertainment records of all time and all this junk. But I honestly believe this is going to be the weakest selling Call of Duty. I think people are starting to get a bit bored of it. Um, and even the casual gamers are starting to kind of jump ship to Battlefield and things like that now. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Um, you've got the Halo Master Chief Collection for the Xbox One. Big, big exclusive that I know it's um, very much looked forward to by kind of hardcore Xbox fans. We've got The Crew coming out as well. That's another big game coming out. Um, which is multi-platform of course, it's going to be interesting to see how that does. Far Cry 4, which is another day one purchase, probably on par with Assassin's Creed as my game of the year contender already, I can tell that, just because I love Far Cry 3 so much, oh, I know I'm going to love Far Cry 4. You've got Pokemon, Omega, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, big release for the 3DS, possibly the biggest of the year, up there with Super Smash Bros. Um, Pokemon game, handheld Pokemon games are still as popular as ever, um, so that's always going to sell. Little Big Planet 3 for the PS4, big exclusive. To me, personally, I'm not too hyped for it. Um, I'll see what it's like closer to the time, but it's no denying it's going to sell. It's a big exclusive for PlayStation 4. Um, so, sorry about that. I just burped on camera. How bad is that? Sorry about that. <laughs> but it's going to sell either way. Um, interestingly, it is on PS3 as well, so I do worry that that's going to limit what it's going to look like and feel like on the PS4. Um, Sonic Boom comes out for the 3DS and the Wii U. Again, I, th I feel like this could be an, an either a terrible game because of how much they've done to this game and how different it looks from classic Sonic, or it could be an underrated good action platformer. Um, I'm hoping it's the latter because I do want a good Sonic game to sink my teeth into, and again, it's on the Wii U. So that's any kind of exclusive game for the Wii U is, plus one for, is a plus point for me. Um, 
and that's kind of it really for, for what I'm interested in anyway going into December there's only one big game that's Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix which I'm absolutely gutted that it's only on the PS3 because I want to I'm fully into next gen now I don't really want to be playing PS3 games anymore but I'll get it anyway I will plug my PS3 back in for that just so I can play more Kingdom Hearts um, but yeah crazy when you think about it how many games are coming out towards the end of this year that's that's not even a fraction of it there's a huge huge list of how many games are coming out at the end of the year take a look and see what ones you're looking looking forward to um, and that's about it guys so let me know down in the comments what games you're going to be getting towards the end of this year um, and yeah kind of I feel sorry for all of our wallets and bank accounts because we're going to be spending all of our money on games but that's the way I live and that's the what I look that's what I love anyway I'm off guys um, thank you for watching this video uh, leave your comments down below as usual and that's about it so yes yeah, see you in my next video